I'm Brewster, as in punky. And I'm J.D. Jables. I'm John Chucky. Is that what we're going to go with? Chucky. Yes. <laughs> Chucky. <laughs> anyway. Those are the nicknames we're going to be using today. Uh, we're going to try and uh, keep it going you, the whole episode, see if it actually works. Yeah, so. we're going to try to keep it going. For those of you who don't know, Jables is uh, from one of my favorite movies, uh, Tenacious D and The Pick of Destiny. Love that movie. Punky Anybody Brewster? out there? What's that? Punky, punky Brewster. Brewster punky Everybody Brewster. always Brewster. used to think I And then you're Chucky because... My Converse. Oh, wear them every right. day. That's right. Oh, I can't wait to get Chucks. a fresh new pair of Chucks for right? the spring. You know what you gotta do? You gotta, I mean, this is pretty dirty right now. Water resistant really works. Spray that really? stuff all over your shoes and they don't get dirty. They're yeah, well, things. clearly, they're I didn't and they're catch white that too. memo. I, I have salt all over my Uggs. Mm. You're thugs. You're ugly. These so aren't fake Uggs. These are real Uggs. Um, never mind. Alright. But see, ugly. usually, usually ugly. you see people wear, like, the jeans into the Uggs. You went the, uh, you went the other I went way. The other you way. rebel. I'm a rebel. <laughs> well, on today's show, we punk. have, uh... Get in, <laughs> On today's show, we have, we have the top ten, it's a list compiled of many people in ATV, top ten, um, things not to do, um, when you are drunk. Because intoxicated? We always witness people doing stupid things when they're I intoxicated. Guess the being, being drunk. Being in college... You just, you know, you just gotta look out for other people, I guess. And so what we're gonna try and do is tell you guys what two you should avoid. Right? Uh, yeah. For those of you over 21 Anyone. years old. Right, right, senior audience. Uh, so let's, uh, let's hop right into it. Number, number 10 is telling secrets. Definitely. Telling secrets. You ever have that one piece of information maybe a buddy told you and, and you shouldn't, that you would never tell if you were sober because you're a true friend. You and really don't want something like trust. Trust is probably the biggest, like, the biggest thing in a relationship, in a friendship, anything, to have with somebody. And to go and tell somebody a secret that mm -hmm. sh you shouldn't be telling is going to ruin everything. Yeah. So think Even if you it. are intoxicated, your friend's still going to be really mad. Yeah. yeah. So you got to refrain from that. From that. Um, I know two people that, you know, got into kind of a quarrel with each other because she knew something that wasn't supposed to be said, and it was said, you know. When someone was intoxicated? Yes, yeah. and it was, well, I wasn't there, but just so I've heard, <laughs> this is what happened. And they were in a fight, it turned into a big mess, and luckily enough, they're friends again, but they still, you still have that. You still have, yeah. It's like your ex-boyfriend cheating on you. Mm -hmm. You know what, the relationship's really probably never going to work out because you always have that piece of information that you're always going to go back to and you're going to be like, well, you cheated on me, so blah, blah, blah. You're always... It's like that big elephant in the room, you mm -hmm. know? It's uh, yeah, it's always there, you know? I know. And, and you know, I just feel like the whole telling secrets, I feel like, think about it before you do it because I That's feel... That's the problem when you're intoxicated, though. You just don't think. Yeah. Right? It's just like... But I feel like really people say things because they're trying to fit in. Like, they know something that no one else knows. So, by them telling somebody else, like, they feel like they're connecting with that person. So, it's an easier way in for them. So, mm -hmm. they don't feel awkward and they can kind of... But what's that also? A s um, intoxicated mind speaks... A sober, mo sober mind is spoken by... A, sp a sober mind that. spoken by drunken thoughts. I don't know. Something like... You're, you're, you're intoxicated, but you say what you really want to say, but you wouldn't say it. Right, when the you're gist so is that the truth comes out when you're drunk. Yeah. I think that is a load of, you know what, because I, I think that. I that, wouldn't really know. That when but you're. So I've heard. That, that when you're drunk, that you just like, you know, you gotta just lose control. I think that's the whole premise of being drunk, and, um, and you, you know, I don't think that, that, that necessarily the truth comes out. I think maybe you let something slip that shouldn't. Mm -hmm. I think that's, that's definitely Yeah, I, I think it's just like people, they just don't, you don't think. They don't, people don't think. And then they just like, oh, well, I don't care what the consequences. I don't care about well, tomorrow. Right frame of mind. Yeah. yeah. So I've heard that, like, the bars are very dim. The lights in bars are dim. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> well, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, well number number nine on the list is, and this one, this one I'm a little confused about, I guess, depending on how you look at it, is eating. Okay. Okay. Ah. So I've heard yet <laughs> again. <laughs> eating. Binge eating. This yeah. is why a lot of girls in the senior class of college get really, really and fat. And junior class. Oh yeah, some of them. Because you go out, you get a little buzz, you get a little drink on. It shouldn't be called all the freshman sudden, 15, it should be called the junior senior all of a sudden 15. that Madison's Corner Pizza is looking ten times better. I love New York, 
Oh, I G love Carlitos. You mean GP Dub? Or the Chinese? That chicken food. bacon ranch. Egg rolls. Oh, egg rolls. Egg rolls. Okay, Can't go okay. home without an egg roll. If there's one thing that'll fit on this list, Chucky, uh, <laughs> <laughs> is is Dragon City or or. Um, Lamb's Kitchen or, or one Lam, of those when Lamb's Kitchen whatever Lam's whenever kitchen. whenever you're downtown Correction. all right eating that when you're intoxicated or so I've heard that is pr that's a recipe for disaster because even when you're sober that is not good stuff to put in your stomach yeah. you know that's but it, <laughs> but it is all right it could, it's good it's good but you don't feel good thirty minutes after you eat it no. on the next cat, morning cat usually isn't good settling in your stomach <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Don't they say that those Chinese places sometimes cook the cat? No. The cat? Stop. No. No, I, Chinese, they say that. That's like a, but not all the new Chinese. You better not, because I eat it all the time. I don't know. Just putting it out there. Just putting it out there. there. Just putting it out there. Cat. Ew. <laughs> that, that, sounds, that sounds pretty disgusting. That's a cat thing. I don't, I don't know. Nasty. Oh, I asked Joe out with Chinese food. Did it really? Yeah. Here, okay, I don't here think we go. we've gone through right. one episode without Joe. Did we even Joe. get to the 10 minute mark of the episode no, without Joe getting brought so. out? Sorry. Sorry. All right, all right. Well, what, all right. Oh, I'm being told five, five minutes. Five, five minutes in. Five minutes in. And, all right, so, so come on, tell everybody. Tell everybody about Joe. Let's yeah. hear it. Well, I just snorted. <laughs> <laughs> hey Joe, if I eat this whole egg roll, you go out with me. No. <laughs> look how sexy I look with no. this soy sauce on my rice. <laughs> no, I put BF in lo mein with a question mark on a plate, and then that was that. So you right, asked right. him out. Right. Yeah, because he had asked me out a few times before that, and I just wasn't ready yet. Oh yeah, he tried since freshman year, right? Shh. <laughs> oh, uh, no, no, that's, that wasn't it, but... <laughs> well, number, number eight on the uh, list of things not to do when you're drunk is Joe, so uh, can we uh, talk about that? <laughs> I'm just, I'm uh, just joking. That's a joke. That's a joke. What? That's not what we That's a joke. I don't want to get tackled in the middle of a quad tomorrow. So. By the whole soccer team. They're <laughs> right. taking me down. Joe. That was just a joke. Really, really, number eight is is do not buy drinks for others. Um, A.K.A. girls. It's a waste of money. I think that applies, right, applies to, applies to me and Chucky. Chucky. They um, no, like, uh, I just, uh, just don't do it. They're, it's, it's, it's dumb. If I don't drink, they're not going to fall in love with you or like you. Let they me tell you a little something. Idiot. In their wallet, probably only four or five dollars that they bring out. The intention is to get as many free drinks as they want. I don't personally do this because I can't drink. But I wouldn't do it anyway because it's just dumb and it's rude. And I would feel obligated. Like, I hate when people buy me drinks. Even mm -hmm. if they offer, I say no because I feel like I have to sit there and have a conversation with them and talk to them. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to do that. Like, I'm there did, with my friends. Like, did you ever see the commercial? I forget what beer it was for. It was like there, two guys were playing pool and, like, this really hot girl walks over and she gets a beer or something like that, and then they're like, oh, do you want one too? And the guy's like, oh, yeah, sure. She goes up to the bar and get, just sits there, and the guy goes, oh, can I buy you a drink? And she goes, oh, sure, but gets two beers from the guy, leaves him, gives it to her two friends, and the guy goes, wow, your sister's great. <laughs> so the sister, like the, the brother funny. hang out at the bar with the, the brother's friend, mm -hmm. and they're playing pool, and she's just getting all free drinks from all these guys yeah, and giving them to the brother. I mean, and the girls have this weapon, uh, especially if, you, if you're like really attractive. You can just go up to a bar and be like, uh, hey, uh, you want to buy me a drink? Most guys will probably say yes. You get the drink, just walk away. You gotta go to the Peace older guy. Oh, I gotta go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. Yeah. <laughs> see and you later. Peace. Like, go on to the next guy. You're in the next bar over. Like, <laughs> I don't know. But it's definitely a waste of money. So guys, keep the money in your pockets. Yeah, don't uh, don't go downtown with like eighty bucks in your pocket. Girls, stop really being done. stingy. Twenty should Come be your on. limit. Yeah. Twenty yeah, should. Don't oh, wear okay. eight. <laughs> don't bring three for a cab. Especially because. You see how many people go out on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I Saturday. Know. We'll skip like Sunday, don't go to Monday, class. Tuesday. I live on Dutch Tower, and I see the bus is like, like you have ambulances on call oh, yeah. just in case like <laughs> someone mops. just accidentally gets trampled getting onto the bus. Whoever knew for a free ride. Right? I don't forget which one it is, but it's either Visa or MasterCard. It says, don't leave home without it. I think this is uh, the one exception. Pretty sure yeah, right. leave, leave home, home without, without it. it. Uh, yeah, so, Especially um, when half the fees are like $4 to I use know, an ATM. Right, all the fees downtown. So you get that $4 cover charge, whatever that's called, mm. surcharge, whatever it's called. And then you check, your, if you have online banking, well, I have HSBC, they charge you. So you get charged like 
two fifty or whatever you take out the ATM and then HSB charges you for taking out a different ATM. Mm. So you so get to charge like all five for bucks that one for taking drink, out a twenty dollar bill. You're looking at yeah. ten bucks for a drink. Yeah. Is it worth it? <laughs> Probably not. Probably so not. So guys, don't do not buy girls drinks. Okay, number seven on the list. Wandering slash leaving your friends. Definitely not a good idea. I think that's See it all safety. the time. Safety. Especially like in Albany, I mean they always say don't walk alone and all mm -hmm. that stuff. You better not leave your friends when you're downtown. Mm -hmm. Like it's so unsafe, you know, we even saw like earlier this year, just a couple incidents that happened. You don't want to be alone. Yeah, you know? everyone remembers the Richard Bailey incident. It's, he yeah. was alone when it happened. So I, I you know, especially when it comes to wandering leaving your friends, do not Ever, ever go alone. You that's, think yeah. that maybe if somebody was with him, maybe... And he wasn't even... He could have been intoxicated. Yeah. Can you imagine if he was, like, it was a Friday night, he was a little intoxicated, what mm. he... It could have been, I mean, ended horribly, but mm. something else could have... Uh, you know what, though? Like, just... I was a Girl Scout for 13 years, and we would go camping at, like, 13 one of the, years? So yeah. you probably stopped, like, last year. year. <laughs> See, like, no, kindergarten to senior year. I don't anyway. get called a Girl Scout when you're a senior year. What it's a cadet. Cadet. Oh, you're well, a cadet. senior Girl Scout is in the senior. So, like, the three years, you get to wear the blue ones again, and oh, you're wow. seniors. Um, cadets Wait, are isn't, green. Isn't this the... This one. This one. On my honor, I'll try to serve God and my country to help people at all times to live by the Girl Scout law. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not lying. You just wear a uniform and stuff? <laughs> yeah. You know, with the vest, mm -hmm. with all the patches the all vest, over them? The vest. Well, you can either have the sash or the vest. And, and then what? the skirt with the knee highs. Oh, if you're stranded, oh, on, if you're stranded on an island, I'm sure she can build us a fire. <laughs> can you? Can you? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Um, so anyway, we'd go camping. And we were not even allowed to go to the bathroom. This was senior year, by the way. We weren't allowed to go to the bathroom, which was literally outside our tent, by ourselves. You had to go with somebody. Well, it was I'm the sure buddy system. Bears and stuff. Bears and I know. <laughs> Another girl's gonna help you when a huge eight foot bear attacks. You know, maybe he doesn't know a girl to go after, and you're the one that gets saved. That's true. So, selfish reasons. <laughs> but anyway, no, but definitely you have to be with somebody all the time. If anybody stressed that more, my grandma. My grandma Kate always never be alone, like always. Grandma Kate sounds like a smart woman. Mm. Yeah. Well, yeah, you, I mean. That could increase just... your chance for rape, for. Um, Getting robbed for being mugged for any assaulted. Robbed and mugged the same thing. No, you can get robbed, but mugged it isn't mugged like you're physically hurt. Oh, that's true. I think I think mugged. Yeah, I think mugged is a little more. Like you get hit in the head, a little more physical. Yeah, and even on the bus, my friend, he's actually from Holland. He's on the soccer team as well. That's cool. Yeah, he has like his passport in his back pocket, and these kids behind him, because you know he was with a group of people, my friend. I saw this kid looking at him, trying to take, it looked like it was money in his back pocket, but it was mm -hmm. his passport, trying to take it out of his back pocket. I'm like, bro, who do you think you are? Like, you know, and I told the kid, I told my friend, I was like, listen, he's trying to take your, your shit out of your, your stuff out of your, your uh, pants. And the kid, like, looked at him and was like, like, embarrassed because he knew that I knew, you know? Mm -hmm. So always have somebody around. Because I was once in, um, where is I? Michael's, that's 18 bar. And I was walking by, and someone grabbed, tried to grab my wallet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, oh, jeez. Like, I didn't see that person, but mm -hmm. I felt him go in my back pocket and try to grab my... I mean, I, I probably had like $7 in it, but still. But still, it's just the, the fact. Just the fact, my license, everything's in there. Your credit card. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And my, all um, your IDs. Yeah. My brother, Jared, shout out to him. He's uh, my 16-year-old brother. He just got back from, from England. He just went on a class trip. A couple of days ago, cool. he just got back. Last trip to England, where are these yeah, people what's taking the kids now? He's in, he's in, um, he's in AP, uh, oh. AP European history. Oh, so he's a smart. He, he's smart. he makes me look like a failure because he's he's got like a ninety seven average. He's captain of the football team. He's good looking. He's charming. So everything you're not. Everything I'm not. <laughs> no, no, it's true. He makes, he makes me look. He makes me look like. And he's a got more than six minutes for a girl. Failure. If oh, you yeah. haven't seen past That's episodes. Right. That's right. Oh. Jables, J over Jables? here. Jables, Jables says yep. that if you're interested, he's only got six minutes free a day. Yep, so. I'm a busy, busy, busy person trying to busy. keep up with my brother and his yeah. standards. How old is he again? He's 16. 16. He's, like I said, good looking. He's he's ripped. He's so built. He benches a ridiculous amount of weight. He um captains the football team, and I think the lowest grade he has in any class right now is like a 94. Oh my god. He's in the AP class. He makes us all look. He got all the good genes. High school, so. but, but anyway, he was, in, he was just in high school. I mean, he was in downtown, downtown England. See what happens. Downtown <laughs> England. That's pretty. 
Oh my god, nice stuff. Uh, <laughs> downtown, downtown England. England. And the stereo the stereotype um with downtown England I think really was brought around by Oliver Twist is the whole pickpocketing thing that goes on. Mm. You know, little kids and those crazy reaches. Oliver Twist please, sir, I want some more. Yes, yeah, please right. sir, I want some more. Alright, yes. proceed. So my my brother's downtown. <laughs> In, Lon- in London, he has his passport, his keys, his wallet, his everything, and one minute he's down there, he has everything, one minute, everything gone. gone. No. Passport, everything gone. So how, how did he, get, he back? get back? Okay, so, so listen to this. He, goes, he calls me up, he's frantic, oh, Joe, Joe, oh my God, you know, all this stuff starts happening, well, he's freaking out because you can't get back to America without a passport, you know? So, so he's looking the entire day, sort of asking people, blah, blah, blah. He finally, a few hours later, goes to the police department. And everything is there but the cash. Oh. Including uh, a Visa card. Everything was there but the cash. How much money was So wow. he was pickpocketed by a pickpocketer with a conscience. Because the guy returned everything to the police department except, I think, the or, $80 he had on him. Well, maybe the pickpocketer picked it and threw everything else away on his own nice cane. That, that's, yeah. that could be possible, too. But, what are you um, thinking, Chuck? Right? But it happened, thinking? to go back to this, it happened when um, he had, um, I think, wandered off by himself, or I think it was maybe even with one friend, but he wasn't paying attention. Yeah. But, um, I don't know, that's my well, story, really. I'm going to, to Ireland March 20th through 28th. So excited. I've never been to Europe. That's I'm fine. jealous, really. Because my, my brother, not you. Um, so now I should know that to keep my passport in my front pocket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah, or uh, just don't even bring it with you. Yeah, leave it in the room. Leave a hotel, that's true. Yeah, because you don't want to bring that stuff Oh, we're staying in the castle. A castle. A castle. A castle. We're staying in the castle. How exciting is that? I want to stay in like, the castle. Like, it's like a, ca- it used to be a castle, and they turned it into a hotel. Hotel and a castle. Mm-hmm. All right, so I'm going to put away the dog. <laughs> a dog. Hey, well, you're I from... got coffee. Okay, <laughs> I know. he I'm... lives down the block <laughs> from like me, so don't even. <laughs> anyway, what's number six? <laughs> Num... Number six, uh, and I think this has to apply more to women than it does to, to, actually, I don't know, it depends. Kidding on a stranger. Yeah. That, that is step one for uh, getting it's, into when some When you are trouble. intoxicated and you hit on someone you're that you've never seen, seen or met before. Your words, okay. you're tripping over your words, tripping the okay, bar. Okay, so or... let's reenact this. Jables. Okay. Oh, let's hear I'm at a bar. I'm at a bar. I'm at a bar. Okay. If you get your six minutes. You're intoxicated. Right. I'm maybe. Okay. Do your magic. What's your magic? Hey, you're looking good tonight. <laughs> hey. <laughs> no, okay. That's really don't what you do. Don't quit your day job. He's not, he's not what? a good actor. <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to act drunk. All right. Is that... Uh, I, I don't know. I've never been drunk I've never before. Been I don't know how to do that. Try match.com because I don't know if you're. I'm, I'm, I'm a failure. I'm a failure. Um, um, no, I'm kidding. Yeah, no, that probably wouldn't work. <laughs> that's not. That's not a. Janae, do you believe Maybe. in love at first sight? Would that work? If someone came up to you and said that, you know, the, do you believe in love at first sight or should I walk by again? You ever you <laughs> heard of that? You ever heard of that? No, no, all right. That's what if I, I could rearrange the that's alphabet. What I I'd put I and you together. Yeah. That's a good um, Really. <laughs> Do your feet hurt? They've been running through my mind all day. You've been running through my mind all day. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait. Or the best that I... Are you from the south? Because you're only 10 I see. Ten- oh, are you from Tennessee? Tennessee. <laughs> you're only 10 I see. Are you from the south? <laughs> That's probably why you don't get the girls, because you don't I even do know too. the pickup lines. I, I just don't need to use the pickup lines to get the girls. Oh, my God. I just use or the, my great did it looks hurt? and my charm. Did it hurt? When you fell from heaven. See, he even knows the ending. <laughs> He's speaking the words. He's oh, God. Guys, I don't want pickup lines. Don't hit on girls when you're drunk, because... When driving here, did you get a ticket? Because you got fine written all over you. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that one. <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> Oh, uh, we need to do a whole episode with Cheesy Corny. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, just in case you're all interested. <laughs> well, if you see Janae out, don't use it on her, because obviously yeah. it doesn't work. Impervious yeah. to corny pickup lines. That's yeah, all. no. I probably would just laugh and, like, keep talking to you about them and then leave. Like, sorry. <laughs> and go tell your friends that he just used this pickup line. I would be surprised if anybody who was really drunk could even come up with, with a line that's stupidly creative. <laughs> you know, because, because you, you, you said it too. Like, I mean, everyone's, you know, always messing up your words. You're slurring. You can barely speak. You're, like, drooling. You're, like, Ugh. You know, you're, like, if you're really drunk. 
And so if you were able to, be, to even, you know, get the right brain cells going in the right direction to actually coming out with the line like that, I guess that's... Give that's you some props. Yeah, some props, right? Yeah. Jokes. Definitely. And especially if you are intoxicated, girls know that, and they probably just think, oh, this girl's just looking for a little piece, you know? And, I don't know. A little piece. A little piece, I don't All know. All right, what's number five? <laughs> <laughs> Num number five I like, because, because, um, uh, fighting. Fighting, like like physical fighting. Or, Every uh, guy is a hothead when they're drunk. And they especially this campus, fight. you know how many tool bags we have on this campus? They want to fight everything. Well, we want to fight. Well, I really think. Well, I, I'm hold on, hold on. I think there's two types of fighting. There's fighting, like serious fighting, like, yo, don't touch my girl, man, or stuff like that. And then there's fighting, like play fighting. Because uh, mm. I'll do that with my sweet mates. You know, we'll, uh, we'll get a little physical sometimes. We'll just start wrestling or something. Start just beating up each other. Uh, but when it, but then I think uh, I think the real thing is physical fighting. Like, yeah. Like some guys who are a little too gassed up that night. Yeah. Uh, going down to a bar, especially if, especially if they have a girlfriend with them, or they're bringing a girl. Or, That's so. Or if two guys are fighting over a girl, right? Mm -hmm. I always love like the people who get really really hurt and. You love that? No, no. I love seeing a guy with a black guy. I bet you. I bet you. No. Can't